What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Cosmic Verse. Let's get straight into it. Over 60% of Gen Z men are single, and intimacy is at a 30 year low across both genders. I need to know is there like any guys left that like believe in like opening the car door for a girl? We are traveling out of the US just to find a wife. The easiest way to enjoy men is to the incentive for a man getting into a relationship today is suffering and pain. Facts. The best advice women have ever been given is that they don't need a man. Hmm? Every man wants an independent woman until they get an independent woman. Feminism um, isn't actually about equality, it's about equality when it benefits us. If a man ever says something about like going 50-50... Don't ever spend your money on a woman who won't do the same for you. Facts. We're equal after all. Kindly subscribe to the channel, as it is our sole form of support. Thank you. Julia Fox in an interview talked about how she's not dating men anymore. I do think this is part of a of a larger. Wait, isn't Julia Fox like fifty? Shots fired! Shots fired! Who cares? Trend within a lot of women online and just women in general of like giving up on men, giving up on relationships, just reverting back to what feels safe. I'm never gonna date men again, ever again. Like when my friend says that to me, like I want to, you know go deeper into that and like is that really will that really make you and maybe it will when they go low i go low -er. if you're still in love with someone else why the fuck are you dating anybody at all plus this video is now viral how many men do you think saw this and went great now i can bleep her without her getting attached <laughs> You can't make a video holding men to a certain standard when you have none yourself. Ouch. So over 60% of Gen Z men are single and intimacy is at a 30 year low across both Crazy, genders. Bro. So if you look at this graph right here, you see about 30% of US adults are single. But if you go to the men age 18 through 29, that goes to 63% compared to women in that same age group at 34%. What's going on here? After reading the article, no one fucking knows. Well, here's the thing. Women control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. So it seems like men have had enough. They try to personalize it saying men can choose differently. But ultimately, it's a societal issue as the statistics indicate that. Men can do things differently. But if such a large portion of men are training in a certain way, it's a societal issue. But what do y'all think about this? Do men need to seek relationships at a young age right now? Or should they just sit back and focus on themselves? Let me know. Sit back and focus on themselves. Grow, build, and then they will come. What's, I always say this, man. Like if you, if you chase women, they will run. If you chase money, it runs. When you attract things, it comes to you. Be a magnet to the things that you want. What most young men need to do is get a closer relationship with God. It definitely would Being hurt. single is safer. It is. Child support and divorce financially Facts. ruin you. So all these women sharing the same guy? <laughs> Bro, as a man, I gave up. The expectations are too high. There's multiple things that I can't do, and that's changing. So I just focus on myself. Passport kings, guys. People in general need to stay single until they are ready for another person. Otherwise, they will mess it up. Work on yourself first. You ever been in situations where you're talking to a guy, getting to know each other, and it just doesn't work out for whatever reason, and you can't help but to think, wow, we would have been really cute together. Like, actually, we... I love it when women explain their bop lore. She's a runner, she's a track star. I, I just love it. I was rooting for you. The whole group chat was rooting for you. But then you just start moving weird, acting weird, and we don't like that here. But I was rooting for you. We feel the same way sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to the other side, madam. <laughs> this is exactly we how- We're rooting for you. <laughs> uh, tell me you've been ran without telling me you've been ran. I love it, dude. It's like these women are just exposing themselves and they don't even realize it. They have no idea. Just rare to find. So funny. Just like the good men. I'm afraid to get 40 and not find that man, you know? Because I don't want to start just crossing shit off the list. <laughs> like, he can't read. I don't care. Yeah, I can read. Strong. I read for the both of us. <laughs> There's nothing a man should fear more than a woman who's comfortable being alone. You are now competing with me. Stupid. You're not competing with other guys. I am good being alone. I am fine. So you have to be better than me. You have to make it so that I want to be with you instead of being with me. How are you going to do that? 
This is the type of woman that brings hell into her home. Bro, this this is unreal. She even sounded like a man. Back in my day, good woman, you be good woman, you know, cook clean, make a hot plate, you know. She sounds like one of the boys. Like, tell me you're alone without telling me you're alone. Like, we can tell you're alone. Like, you need to be competing with me. And these women wonder why men don't want to pursue them. It's like, your attitude is trash. You're not all that in the bag of tater chips, honey. You're a regular schmeg. You're beat at best. Who I bring to the table? Say you're at the table. Excellent question. Please say you're the table. I am the table. I love it. I love it. Are you stupid? As well, you people settle for like anything. Like literally like, oh my God, he texts me good morning. Please. Are you literally in a hotel room right now? What are you doing in a hotel room? Whose bedroom actually looks like that? Please. That is so embarrassing. Like literally when you have women over here that get like crazy cars, that get houses, whatever. It's not even about being materialistic to be honest because like- But those are the first things you led with. <laughs> Come on, honey. Somebody cannot, might not afford that, but they give their time, they give their, they give their love, they try to do as much as they can and they really put in effort. And you, you are being ghosted. You're being ghosted. Please just, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. This is called not appreciating the small stuff. Wow. Because as soon as men stop doing it. She looks like somebody that would be in Dubai doing some rather uh, stinky things. Um, but, you know, I, I'm not going to throw no stones in that regard. Out of the U.S. just to find a wife. I was watching a podcast the other day and it went on to explain why men are traveling out of the states to find a wife. Because they're fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids, they're quaint, uplifting, empathetic, elegant, natural, nurturing, they're not entitled, they're not masculine. Let, let's, let's see if she touches on any of that. Well, up, they say that women from other countries are well educated, classy, elegant, very feminine, and they understand how to give and take in relationships. There we go. Instead of being demanding, entitled, and ungrateful yeah. for things that men do for them. And I'm not saying all, but some women in America have grown so entitled and demanding. Facts. Basically, they think that they can treat a man however they want, and they can get away with it. Mm -hmm. Treat a man poorly, and then they criticize their looks when they're not in the best shape themselves. But agree or disagree all you want, but men do like feminine women let me know they in the comments do you guys like feminine women i'm gonna go ahead and say yeah because we do that's what we like we like feminine women dude like when women behave feminine and they like when women take care of themselves i'm a good man but they're tired of our bs so much in fact that they're traveling overseas just to find a wife that respects them this is because when a man wants something i love it she's so based i love that yes so we need more women like that this is the way Cass thinks Cass is like, I can't imagine not having a man. She's like, I love having a man. Cass is so thankful just to be in a relationship and have a man that takes care of her. Like, that's why I love her, man. It's because she, she appreciates the male role. She appreciates the hard work I put into this. I was supposed to hang out with this guy, but it was getting kind of late. So I texted him and I was like, hey, it's kind of late. Like, maybe you should just like rain check. Okay, rain check. No big deal, right? I love and her. And he responded saying, okay, sounds good. Sounds good, but I'm sure this is not the end of the story. Hmm. You're not even going to fight for me. You're not even going to try to convince me to stay over. You're not even going to put in any effort. I bet that's where she goes. Excuse me? And here it comes. I love it. And I was like, what, LOL? And he's like, you propose to reschedule. Like, it's a bit late for you. Said I was like respecting your boundaries and like, yeah, we can meet up another time. Wonderful. A guy is respecting her boundaries. Yeah, he, she's going to be mad at him for not trying hard enough. But there's more. And I was like, you think you're funny? You're supposed to respond saying, no, I need to see you. I'm outside. Your doorman's blocking the door. Like, what? Oh, I get it now. There's games apparently to be played. And one seems upset that the guy is not playing along. He was like, wait, why are you mad that I was just like listening? And That's like, why I say women are children, dude. This is stuff that kids do. This is the stuff. This is why. Ladies, stop watching Disney movies. <laughs> Getting her heads plumped up like a freaking hot air balloon thinking you're all hot stuff that these men are just waiting hand and foot on you just i will do whatever it takes to get this woman no expecting what well you, you won't do another woman will wanted and i was like exactly 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 what respecting boundaries is apparently a bad thing now what? i'm beginning to believe that some women are single-handedly trying to convince the entire male population that in fact they are better off single because if you want to play games ladies play by yourself
If I wanted to One play those rose toys. <laughs> You know, I was like, man, get one of those little rose toys. Go play by yourself. Ain't nobody trying to play with all that. You ladies are grown. We're grown. I got bills to pay. I'm not going to try to be playing no games with you. They've asked for men to communicate, and when they do, it becomes an issue. Fellas, you're not the problem. Walk away. Did you know that single women own 2.71 million more homes in America than single men? That's crazy. Especially considering that women couldn't even get a mortgage by themselves until 1974. This has been a busy 50 years, I guess. Period. That's because men buy houses to fill them up with kids, while women buy houses just to say they did it. <laughs> Who buys a home for themselves? You know how stupid that is? You get an apartment. Well, it's pathetic. This is why I say you should never buy a home for yourself as a woman, because there's certain things you should do while you're in a relationship. I think you should have a kids when you're I think you should have kids when you're married. But he, here's here's the progression of it all, right? Get into a relationship and then you get married, right? Or you're in a relationship and you get a dog. You're dating your boyfriend, girlfriend, you get a dog. Then you get married, then you buy a house. Then you have children. But if you just do that all out of whack, you get a dog when you're alone, you get a house when you're alone, you buy your first car when you're alone, like what other life experiences are you going to have with a significant other? Guys want to go through life and have these experiences with women and build that bond and build that familial bond with you. But if you're going to go through and do everything and just be at the finish line and be like, all right, where's a guy that's going to pork me and maybe put a kid in me, already got a house, like... The dynamic's not good because the women are entitled and they're like, well, you should have a bigger house than me and you should have that. When as when you guys come together as an item and buy a house together, that's the way it should be. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you think that there's a certain progression of relationships of things that you should get and acquire? Like, I don't think you should ever buy a dog when you're alone or you're a single woman. Like, a single guy, I think it's a little bit different, but I think when girls get animals, they root themselves in their singleness and they go, I'm getting a dog because nobody else will love me unconditionally, so I'm going to get this dog so it loves me unconditionally. I'm going to get this cat. I'm going to get this gerbil. I just don't think you should do that. I think it's stupid. I think it's dumb, and I think it makes you more alone and makes you more single. For that. And it wouldn't shock me if a bunch of those properties were achieved through divorce. <laughs> Women always well, that too. Yeah, a lot of these properties are probably achieved through divorce. It's like, what is she really talking about? Houses. <laughs> Once upon a time, I was dating this guy, and he was so sweet. It was nothing wrong with him. It just I hate short hair. Shots fired! Shots fired! Let me know in the comments. What do you think? What do you think about? What do you think about girls with short hair? I can't stand it. And giving me like the spark that I be needing. Um, and I was talking to him for a couple months. We were going to date. He was super consistent and nice and available, emotionally available. And so it just wasn't doing it for me, right? Of course. And so one night I prayed. It was a Friday, Friday night. And I was like, God, if this is supposed to be, like, if I'm supposed to take him serious, by Sunday, he's going to give me flowers. And it's not like he got me flowers every time he's seen me. He has sent me flowers before. Yeah. But I'm like, if this time, in two days Stupid. notice, if he gives me flowers without me saying anything, <laughs> I'm gonna take him serious. Tell me why. Two days later, he shows up with these like flowers, the flowers that don't die for like a year or whatever. And I still stopped talking to him <laughs> because it didn't do it for me. Oh my gosh. So if I end up single and alone for like the rest of my life, you will. Those bangs alone should let you stay single for the rest of your life. Shots fired! Shots fired! Ladies, what is that? This looks like a baseball helmet. Where are you going with this? This looks like one of those first helmets they used to wear in the NFL. What is that? Was it percent my fault? <laughs> yes. Wow. It is the your entitlement, fault. the sarcasm. I can't stand it because there's so many good men out there that are willing to actually try for these women. This man showed up with flowers and she still thinks she's too good for this guy. This is why I stand up for men, bro. It's finished last. So, what do you suggest the women in the West do if? everyone's advice is for men in the west to look elsewhere for a wife what happens to all the women in the west then well that one study we referenced that said by 2030 or something 50 percent of the women will be without a man so that's that's the direction we're heading because the men that are looking for those traditional values are starting to go overseas and then two the other half of the men are just checking out completely they don't yeah. want to deal with women at all so this is going to be a big issue that women are going to deal with in the future as their options dwindle the women can start dating well, here's what the women are going to have to do you ladies are going to have to start throwing the fisticuffs and competing for men because there's going to be a lot of us and and uh well there's gonna be a lot of y'all fighting for the same pool of men and i'm sorry ladies but you're gonna have to start pulling your weight you wanted equality it sucks fighting for who gets to marry the bear mm -hmm. women would say that men control hookup culture and it's men's fault that's false no. hookup culture is actually women 
that control it. We Thanks. control hookup culture because we're the gatekeepers of sex. Yep. And if guys aren't getting it, then there's they're going to have to commit. That's just how it is. So the faster women realize that, the better it is and the sooner this hookup culture ends. Simple. You have to remember that no one right. flirts better than a woman that is not really that interested in you. And we wonder why guys are just done with dating because apparently now <laughs> flirting means that she's not interested. Oh, but guys should be able to read body language and eye contact as if that's any easier to decode. I go first class because my wife can afford it. She's the one who makes all the money. What does she do? She was a retired CFO. Wait, I have to see this guy. This dude's like wife is like a retired CFO. He's he's totally winning in life. Good for him, dude. Good for this man right here. Let's skip past him though. Ask for help. So if you are one of the few people a man has been able to break down in front of, that should be considered not a weakness, but one of the highest honors you can get. Because when he has to be strong for everybody else, and he sees you as the one safe space that he can actually have a moment for himself, that's not something to be taken for granted. I think I have standards. And I think I live in a world right now where boys confuse standards with high maintenance. I'm not ashamed to say I, I actually require X, Y, and Z for you to be with me. What? What we have to understand is... Yeah, you're alone. <laughs> <laughs> I require X, Y, Z for you to be with me. But you ain't even got a man. What are you talking about? You require... You can't require anything. You don't have a man, dude. Uh, why are men traveling overseas to find wives? Let's get to this Mine's clip. That made some men very... It doesn't make you a lady. It makes you a fucking prostitute. I agree. Wait, 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 wait. If they what deem it to I be ridiculous... Clip. So I'm the lady who says you can't be my boyfriend unless you pay my bills after three months, and that made some men very. Yeah, because that means you're an escort. It doesn't make you a lady; it makes you a fucking prostitute. I agree. <laughs> Boys, stay single. Why do you think so many men are traveling overseas to find wives in other countries? Men are traveling overseas to find wives in other countries. Why? I'm right here. I'm single. No, Why? no. I want to be married. Yes, you're there. Beat her. Get used to it. Right, but I'm saying, do you see typically see women traveling if, overseas if to find husbands? If men are traveling overseas to, to countries that have less money and less education, it's because they want a woman who is dependent on them. Yes, they might be dependent for a couple of years until their visa allow them to steal your job. For their livelihood. For Passport bros wives are hardworking. They can earn their own money. For their resources to have a good life and i don't think that that is a good thing passport bros know that they're not idiots and yet they still love them because one of the reasons is marrying them is a humbling experience it gives them a better outlook and appreciate life well, men, here's the thing men get a lot of value out of providing loki do you want to carry oh look at him his ears perked up you want to carry it dude Free. Wait. Free. Go to your place. His belly's feeling better. Shout out to you guys for asking. Um, he's feeling much better. Cass nursed him back to health. But here's the thing. Men get a lot of validation. Men feel a lot of value in a relationship when they can provide for a woman. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think that men get a lot of value out of providing for a woman? Personally, I do. I get a lot of fulfillment from providing. When Cass is like, I want this. I'm like, go buy it. I want this. Go get it. Here's some money. Do you need some money? I get a lot of validation out of that. I, and then what I get in return is a fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive woman that it cooks my meals, doesn't have any children outside of me. Like, it's just me and her. She takes care of the dog. She cooks me meals. She cleans the house. She organizes everything. I say, hey, I'm hungry. She's like, what do you want? Like, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. I have a helpmate. I have 100% a helpmate. And I hope everybody out there can go out there and get one. But I think a lot of men feel a lot of value for doing that. But a lot of women demonize men for wanting to feel that way. It's okay that we want you dependent upon us. You guys should be honored. You guys should be screaming from the rooftops that a man would come in and save you. You know what I mean? That's the way That's the way you should be thinking about it because in reality, we owe you nothing. We owe you absolutely nothing, but yet we're willing to go out, conquer the world, and compete with other men in, in tons of fields, go out there and make money in a hard way, go work our butts off 40 to 80 hours a week, and come home and give you some of that hard-earned money, and all you got to do is sit at the house and cook and clean? Like, bro, that's a good bet right there. If, if I could do that, that's a good bet, but personally, I wouldn't get a lot of value out of that. I would feel like I'm not reaching my full potential, and I want to go out there and earn a lot of money. If Cass wants something cool, go get it, but when Daddy says make him a sandwich, you better make me a damn sandwich. 
It's as simple as that. Who said that? Was it? I don't know if it was Chadwick Boseman or one of the other adventures. I, I don't even. I do. I can't remember. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Cop the ebook. The Four Pillars of Personality is right there. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Loki, say bye. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.